guys. Today it's me, Sarah, and we are playing our dog me. And we are going to be showing you some tips and tricks to like for you to become rich, anyways. So come on, let's go. Outside. And by the way, I'm playing with my friend Zara Zufikar, whose name is actually Zara. <laughs> Anyways, so we are going to be going and telling five or six or seven tips and tricks on how to become rich in a dog. Oops. So, I know when everyone started, they started off like a bacon and... They were really poor, they didn't have any pets except a starter egg, which only gives you a cat or a dog. But it's okay. <clears throat> you don't need to be sad of that because you can get better at everything. So, you get started. Let's dress up poor so you can actually feel like you're learning this. Like poor people. So I'm gonna show my avatar, and I got my poor outfit on. And now let's just get a dog. I guess dog right now because we are sort of. So let's wait for my friend to do this. And by the way, guys, <clears throat> if you're new, please subscribe and like and comment on all my videos. And I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away one metal ox to one of you guys. So if you wanna, if you want to have a chance on winning one of these metal oxes, these are the steps to do it. Just like. And subscribe and leave your username in the comment section down below and you have automatically entered the giveaway let's begin so we need my friends get a um, get a pet get a cat or a dog well anyways we're gonna get started now Aw, 7-Eleven. Anyway, the first tip is trade toys. So, you know, trading toys is really, like, not likely to get you any pets. But I got so many pets. Like, you see these pets that you see scrolling right now? That I'm scrolling to right now? These are most of the pets are the one I traded for toys. Anyways. You can trade any any types of toys, like let's say a lemonade stand that would get you really good offers, or you can do this one. You should I should like you should trade the toys that you have most. So like yeah, and other useless things you can trade them too. Like this rocket, I have more than one of these so I always trade them and even these cactuses I, ha cactuses I have like 24 and now I have six of them even these bunnies and other stuff then the next tip is to hatch eggs so this does not go so well with my other tips but if you have lots of money, I request you to hatch lots of eggs and save eggs. Like the chip, the Japan eggs. I bought one and I saved it until the Asia eggs came. And I got really good offers for it. And I got, let me show you the, one of my offers. I got an offer of a ride ladybug so 
yeah, save money to get things. So, yeah, you should also do that. Now, we should, like, do lots of stuff. We should always hatch eggs and save our eggs. But you shouldn't buy the, like, cracked eggs or the royal eggs or the pet eggs because they are going to be in the game forever. But you should buy the eggs that are in the gumball machine. And if this is not useful for you, I request you to watch my other videos because I'm going to be making more. So, yeah. You have to buy these eggs. Buy these eggs and you can get lots of brilliant pets. Like, I got the Komodo Dragon and... Like, I got such a cute pet too, which I thought it's supposed to be an order, work, but it's a common. So cute though, that little, this belly starting. Well, anyways, so, you should save up um, to buy the, like, this Asia egg. But I also request you sometimes to buy this egg because it has some percentage of getting a legendary anyways so next tip is make neons and trade pets for money so trading pets for money is a really good so like you can save up to buy that but I know you guys wouldn't scam anyone and anyone if anyone would scam you just don't be sad you can still get lots of good things out of it and making neons you can get so many good offers for neons and so that my friend even bought a crack bag we can get so many good offers for neons and megas So, the next tip is to decorate houses for pets. So, decorating houses for pets is such a good idea. I've tried this many times. And I've got some um, rare and common pets. Like, let me show you one of the rare pets I got. I got this out of it, and this, and I also got this got many of them and it's really helpful and just to make sure no one is scamming for example like for example like one girl is letting you decorate her house but you think she's going to scam you and leave the game after you're done decorating so you can ask her to give the pet first and then do the house but sometimes they won't accept so you can do like half of the house and then they give you the pet then you do the other half so if if they even scam you'll still have something and yeah just like my friend says do tasks this is really really helpful it's basically a free thing to do with money so let's go. Go do a task. So these tasks are so helpful. Like right now, I have a task to teach a pet a trick at school and age up a pet while playing as a baby. And these are such easy, simple tasks. So. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun to do all these tasks to earn guest bucks. And you can even earn these RGB boxes, which can contain, like, which can con contain lots of good stuff. Like, I once got a, what do you call it, a chameleon? And it is a really good pet, and you can get so many offers for it. So let's do a task over here. 
Mission Quest to skip button to do this that. And look, I just got 30 bucks for free just by teaching a pet a trick at school. So, of course, you don't have to do all of it. And yes, ask for unwanted pets. This is not so helpful, but some people, they're kind and they'll give you unwanted pets and stuff. And maybe unwanted items that you can trade for pets too. So you can do this and it will be really good. Yeah, and other tips. So, the next thing is to get lemonade stands and yeah, but most of you won't have lemonade stands, but that's okay. You can just buy a cash register in your house and you can gather up like some coffee and tea and maybe some food and you can sell them. Also pets. And the next thing is don't overpay. Don't. Because you could have a lose and you would lose some really good pets just for one rare pet. Like, yeah. So, and never ever trust trade. Never ever trust trade. So, here is an example. So, like here, I'm adding, okay, I'll add this. So, never ever overpay. Here's an example we're going to do. So, like, she's overpaying so much for this. She is so over. So, you should never ever overpay. So, obviously, we're not doing this trade. Nope, never, because she's only going to get one pet out of all of this. Never trust her. No trust trading, please. If someone even says, I'll give you a neon turtle or any, even your dream pet. No, they're going to scam. Don't play pick a door. Because you all know that's a scam. Because you have to give a pet first or an item but it's most likely to be a pet and then sometimes the player don't leave after you give them the pet but if they do don't leave then they might do like all, all the doors wrong and you, you will not get your pet back or anything so yeah hopefully these will help you get rich oh and be a baby and do needs so like for example you have this pet right here and then you go to dress up and you become a little baby so look this is such a cute pet. I mean, like, it's a dog, but you can become a baby and do needs the double of the needs. So you can basically be earning double the stuff, the money that you earn. Like, for example, I'll earn 12 bucks by getting uh, my dog's need done, but I'll earn 24 bucks if I do it with me and my dog. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this will help you do lots of tasks and get rich without using any Robux. Well, anyways, now stay safe from any scammers. Don't be a scammer yourself. Okay, that's all for today, just like my friend said. And have a good day. Please subscribe, sub, 
like and comment. You might win this uh, metal ox for the giveaway. So, and for the next giveaway, I'll give away like maybe an FR pet. So, till next time, see you. Bye.